and welcome to another Magenta Otter Travels taste test video. Here we are in our home in Texas in late April, and we need to do this taste test now because what's happening in a couple weeks? We are leaving Texas for a few months. Right. And so we need to film this before we go. This is a snack crate which if you're not familiar, these are snacks from around the world that are sent to people on a subscription basis. And my brother Brian and his wife Lori bought us this as a Christmas present. So we've been getting snack crates every month or so. And, uh, yeah, and we got, we've gotten ones from the Caribbean, from Poland. Um, where else have we gotten? Japan. Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. So this one we're opening up on camera because it is from France. And even though this channel, Magenta Otter Travels, is about all things British, we're going to France this year. And so we thought we would try some French snacks from the snack crate in preparation for our trip to the country of France. Yes. All right, so uh, so yeah, we open it up. There's a little explanation of what's in here. Oh, here's a here's a croque monsieur. It's a recipe on how to make croque monsieur, which I'm a big fan of because it involves melted cheese. Speaking of croque monsieur, one of my new favorite cooking channels recently shared a fabulous recipe video on this very topic. I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. But unfortunately, no croque monsieur in this box. We have to start some Lay's potato chips. This is a brand that I'm familiar with because I managed it for two years once upon a time earlier in my life. This is a savory... It looks like chicken. Am I right? Do I understand French enough to... Pole. It's chicken. Yeah. Okay. It's a savory roast chicken straight from a farm in the French countryside. It's straight from a farm? Straight from a farm. <laughs> that strains my credulity, people. I'm not buying that, but... I know a little bit about how uh, potato crisp seasonings are created, and yeah, that didn't happen. All right. Okay, so we're ready. We're gonna, we gotta smell it first when we open it up. Okay. okay. What do you smell? Just kind of a barbecue y smell, I guess. It's smoky. Smoky, yeah. Yeah, it's very smoky. All right. Mmm. That's very mild. Tastes like chicken. It actually doesn't really taste like chicken that much to me. It tastes very smoky. Mm -hmm. And like a little bit of the kind of seasonings that you would put on on chicken. Mm -hmm. Herbs de Provence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah, it's I mean, like, I prefer salt and vinegar, but it's yeah. much better than Doritos, okay, for stop, example. Stop, 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 stop. Don't eat any more of these because we got these to go. Mm. This looks like it's ridged potato chips. Yes, Brett's. Let's try them out. It's yeah. also, uh, so this is, it looks like chevre. It looks like cheese. Mm. Chevre cheese. I'm sure you don't pronounce it that way. I have a problem with pronouncing French like a Spanish, which never works out well. It's goat cheese. Mm. Combined with the vigor of esplet pepper. Okay, so mm. now I'm, a, I'm very happy about the cheese. Very excited about the cheese. Yeah. Not so excited about these red peppers. Oh, yeah, the red peppers, yeah. Okay. This is going to be good. Ooh, wow. Woo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I breathed too deeply. Um, yeah, so goat cheese sometimes has a bad smell to it. Yeah. If it tastes like it smells, we're in Like food. baby spit up? I, I love goat cheese, but it does have a bad smell to it. Yeah, not too bad. It doesn't taste anything like I expected. No. It does not taste very cheesy. And do you taste the pepper at all? It's almost no spice to it. Yeah, I was, I was worried about the pepper, but I don't taste it at all. Mm-mm. It's very mild. Mm-mm. Okay, you're the one that's been studying German. 
how do you pronounce Haribo correctly? Haribo? I don't know. All right. So these are gummy bears. Or not bears, gummy. Oh, they're little Orangina bottles. So Orangina is obviously a big soda pop in the mm -hmm. fizzy drink in the on the continent in Europe. And these are little Orangina bottles. So that's funny because Orangina, I think of as an orange drink, but mm -hmm. these bottles are either red or yellow. Very chewy. Very, yeah, very chewy like a gummy bear. They have a good citrus flavor. Those are really good. I'm gonna try red ones see so mm -hmm. if it tastes better. I'm gonna try yellow to see if it tastes different than the red. I think that the yellow are lemony and the red are more kind of strawberry or something. What does mm -hmm. it say here? Citrus flavors. I have no idea. I have mm -hmm. no idea what flavor it is, but it's good. It's mm -hmm. very uh, kind of sour and citrusy and tasty. And oh my, this looks a little scary. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce this. Tete Brulee Bar de Rire. Okay, so this looks like um, Laffy Taffy. Yeah, yeah. And that was something I had ate as a kid. But these Laffy are Taffy. hot headed, chewy candies. They have an intensely sour coating that melts away to reveal a soft, sweet, and fruity center. There's a center? It's all, it's like a flat piece of taffy. Very odd. Hmm. Oh, it's really chewy. Mm-hmm. A lot like Laffy Taffy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's strawberry and... Oh, I thought that was a pepper. It's the little monster's tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is strawberry. Oh, I didn't even mean to see the flavor. You're right. It's strawberry mm -hmm. and this one's apple. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two flavors in here. Green apple would be good. That yeah. was my favorite of Laffy Taffy. Sorry, I didn't see that one before we opened it. All right. This is Lou. This is a French favorite. Sweet, crispy, buttery shortbread with a generous layer of chocolate. Mm. So we know shortbread from Britain. Uh, okay, now I see. It's like a sandwich cookie biscuit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's got it's got like a little. I feel like I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, cool. yeah. That's because I think the Louvre brand is really famous, and this is the little French chap in mm -hmm. period costume. Mm -hmm. All right, this is going to be really messy. So shortbread cookies and chocolate. You know what? It's not a sandwich cookie. It was two cookies mm. on top of each other. But because it's a little bit hot here in Texas, they kind of melted together enough that mm. I thought it was a sandwich cookie. Mm -hmm. It's good chocolate. The biscuit is just a very plain. I think calling this shortbread is a little bit crazy. This is more like... What would you say? Vanilla wafers? Without a strong vanilla flavor. What are these like? They're like, maybe like a little bit like, oh, oh, like a rich tea biscuit. How about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. That's what they're like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the chocolate on top is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cookie part, not so good. Chocolate part, good. Oh. It's a good combination. I, I, I could eat those. Okay. Every day. Okay, so before we taste the last thing, Let's go through and give a rating on a 10 point scale of each thing we've tried. Let's okay. start with the chicken, roast chicken flavored Lay's. Maybe a five. I give them a five as well. <clears throat> the Brett's chips, which still are smelling I mean, like stinky give goat them cheese. A four. <laughs> I would give these a three because they didn't taste nice and cheesy, they didn't taste spicy. They, they just didn't have a lot of flavor. I would never waste potato chip or potato crisp calories on these. Mm -hmm. The Haribo Orangina gummies. Yeah. These were pretty tasty. Yeah, they were good. I don't really choose to eat gummy candies, but if mm. I were going to, uh, I would definitely eat these. I think they're even better than like a gummy bear because of the, the sugary coating that was nice and tart. And mm -hmm. a good citrus flavor didn't taste fakey. Mm. I would give those maybe an eight. What would you yeah, give him? a seven, probably. Seven for him, eight for me. 
And then did you like these? This, sandwiches? yeah, this was really good. I'd give it a nine or a 10. Ooh, 10 from yeah, Anne. It's, it's just... I don't know, it's an, an indulgent thing, but yeah. it reminds me of my childhood. And, it, and that this is, it really tastes good. It tastes like it's good quality. I would probably give those a seven because I like the Haribo better. And then for the Lou, what yeah. would you say about these? I, I would give those a nine or a 10. I really liked those. Really? Yeah. I, I like that combination of biscuit and chocolate and the chocolate was really good. I'd much rather have a mix, McVitie's chocolate covered digestive. I actually thought that might have been a little bit better than a McVitie's, but I don't know. I well, the chocolate is better. You're right. It, it that's a like tough. A that's a tough trade-off for me because I thought the biscuit was not good. Give it an eight or a nine. Okay, eight or a nine. Okay, yeah. uh, I would give it a maybe a, a six. I okay. think there's a lot of other yummy chocolatey things mm -hmm. in the world. Okay. All right. Let's see if this is a yummy chocolatey thing. This is our last thing we're trying. Nestle Nuts, mm. and it is nutty, creamy, caramelly. Oh, these are all good things. Mm. Mm. Coated in delicious milk chocolate. I also worked for Nestle yeah. early in my career at Nestle Chocolate. A Swiss but, company. Yes, it is a Swiss company, but I worked in Glendale, California. So, mm. um, so looking forward to, and also we're big fans of chocolate plus nuts, especially mm -hmm. chocolate plus nuts plus fruit. Oh yeah. We love Cadbury fruit and nut bars. Those are our yeah. favorite. Watch that taste test video after this. If you haven't mm -hmm. seen it yet, I shall link it in the description. All right. This is a beautifully enrobed milk chocolate bar here. Yeah. And when you break it open, it's got lots of Nougat, that's a word mm. that British people love to laugh at Americans like me saying. Nice fluffy nougat center with the, what are these, hazelnuts? This is a Nestle chocolate bar that is a heavenly treat that you won't be able to resist. That's what the mm. brochure I can, says. I can resist it. It actually reminds me a little bit of a Mars bar, a British Mars bar. Yeah, but it's not as good as that. You know what the problem is? It's crappy caramel. Well, and the chocolate is really thin on the outside. Yeah, there's not enough chocolate and... And I'm not a big fan of nougat anyway, so I'm not yeah. even a big fan of Mars bars, and this is not as good as a Mars bar. I'd much rather eat these biscuits. <laughs> mm. Mm. And he is eating another biscuit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so you're giving these a three. Mm -hmm. You know what? The aftertaste of the nougat, caramel, they're just not really good nougat or caramel. And the chocolate probably is good, but there's not enough of it to overpower it. It's very thin on the outside of it. Okay, I'm gonna give that probably a three. Yeah. Too bad. Mm -hmm. But, um, so I'm really surprised the things that we liked the most were the non-chocolate sweets. And that's not the way it usually is for me. No, no normally <laughs> we would love the chocolate things, but we're going to find yummier chocolate things to eat when we are in France. Well, yeah, fresh chocolate croissant. Ooh, yeah, pain au chocolat will be delicious. Mm -hmm. Or a chocolate crepe with... Yeah. A, a, a Nutella crepe. Yeah. We hope that you continue to watch our adventures as we explore the continent in September, including France. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Adieu. adieu. Until the next video, adieu, adieu. Yeah. And do something good in the world today.